All right. So we we got a drive shaft. Does it uh, it fits? I mean, it just well, the amount of suspension travel you have, you want more out because you're gonna you get the airbags and everything. Yeah. And I would say on the end. Let's see. I mean, it could be a little, maybe like half an inch shorter, but it'll work. I think anyway. It's uh, when I measure that out, it still has quite a bit of travel going in and out. So, but yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of travel out, but not as much in, obviously. Yeah, that's perfect. I wanted as much spline engagement as I could get, so it's yeah. Uh, Let's look at a break. Yeah. I gotta kind of haphazardly zip tie my lines up. That <laughs> solenoid, that's oh, that's boy. temporary. The zip ties are temporary. That's gonna get mounted on the inside of the frame. That'd be good, you know. Yeah, I, I want. Uh, uh, if the solenoid fails, you can air them up individually too. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah, so we got our drive shaft. Uh, it's funny they were like, oh well the. Trans yoke is kind of bent and we can't balance it probably blah 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 and, and they, they said that this was bent. How do you bend this? Oh. I don't know. Anyways, I had them, uh, you know, just try it out and it looked pretty good. It didn't shake. They got it done. Yeah. So, yeah, six states did a pretty good job. Um, so. Yeah. It does look like, I think I have a transmission leak. I think it's leaking out of one of the washers. Oh, of course. That's just what you want with an M5OD. You want it to leak a little bit of oil. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's not a real M5OD. <laughs> so we got our rear drive shaft in. Um, it's, yeah, just took it around for a little, uh, oh, wait, nope, <laughs> make a wire out of me. Um, yeah, we took it for a little rip. Thermostat's starting to open up. And so far it hasn't broke down. So here we go. No exhaust right now. Hey guys, uh, right at my friend Cody's place. It's Cody. Um, he's gonna help uh, with the uh, exhaust for this, which I have uh, purchased some stuff, and we're gonna kind of slam it together. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna work on that front right um, wheel, get the shock changed out, the ball joints changed, and. Um, uh, yeah, get that back to normal. Um, I will say, let me show you this real quick. I set the camber caster bushing for this upper ball joint at zero. We set the toe to where it's basically straight ahead and that tire's at a much nicer angle now. It drives, for the most part, pretty straight down the road, but it does want to pull to the right and I think it's just because this is so cambered in. It's about three degrees cambered in. But we did a pretty good job with the toe, I think. Um, so yeah, I am having a little bit of a carburetta issue. I don't know if it's a combination of a poor tune or the fact that it's an Edelbrock carburetor and everybody said they're junk, so don't know. So that was fun, um, but it did di drive pretty decent here, so yeah. Anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna lift her up. Call that the grave digger test. 
you know. Yeah, if it falls, you're dead. Oh yeah, if you have another rubber mallet, I'm gonna need uh Here, let me just grab one out of the building. Oh wait, never mind. What? Here, it'll just come right out. No, come on. Out of the boot. You know how many people complain about this axle? Mm -hmm. It's such a pain in the ass. Not really. Well, I mean go. maybe changing that U-joint, but like putting this back Yeah, in. maybe the U-joint, but that there's these work. I think a lot of people get mad because they're trying to put the whole TTV up like yeah. it's a solid axle. Like, no, man, you do it one yeah. at a time. Fuck. Of course it slipped up. Ah, got you, bitch. It's a little bit cold, which means dips are clogged. Or pre clogged. That's hot. It's a lot. Not torque to your new garage door. Sorry. Gonna have to. Oh, you want me to grab that? Yeah, I don't feel like going boom today. You know, just a thought. I'm a little worried about the carbon boxes that you know. We oh, yeah. We had a fire extinguisher somewhere around here. So you gotta make sure it's nice and red hot. Test it a few times. And then once she uh, gets hot enough, then we will uh, start shooting sparks in the mountain metal. Oh, my God. I can't tell if that's if I even out that top. Is it into the bumper at all? I don't know. There's a washer built into the bottom of the bumper, so. I Should think be... you uh, avoid it for the most part. Also, my level of here. concern. Yeah. Well, as he uh, gets his eyesight back, I'm gonna go uh, <laughs> put my steering knuckle back in, and because that like, literally, I've been kind of bullshitting. I have like my job almost done. Whereas, what, the other side took me five hours? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've got new ball joints in. I forgot my uh, bushing kit for this, so I was able to take the factory one and just flip her around, and I think that will give me my degreeage, degreeage, whatever you want to call it, um, kick this out and then when I get home I'll before I go take this in for alignment I'll uh, swap in my new uh, my new deal and of course after you know swapping swapping that around the toe is probably going to be pulled in because you know we can do a redneck alarm in here too if you no, want no now it puts it uh, eighth inch toe in and then centers the steering wheel just by doing it like all right cool <laughs> be sweet got this all put back together um, I don't know how the camera caster is going to be on this. Well, caster is going to be 
kind of the same as the other side. Camber, don't know. It's probably good. Hopefully it's, you know, dead straight. We'll find out. Toe's probably going to be a little different from what we originally had. We'll readjust that. Yeah, uh, right now we're, he's scabbing in the exhaust right now and, and kind of literally. We just need some exhaust. We'll come back later and replace the front pipes, but I just want to, I just want something on here so I can get home. Um, we also discovered something kind of cool with this truck. This thing has four tens. Yeah, it's got freaking four tens. Um, I'd bring you around and show you what I've been doing, but I can tell you, I got new sway bar bushings in the back. Um, got those installed. Um, all that's pretty much done back there for the most part. Well, I mean it is. Got our drive shaft in. Well, we did that before we left my house, obviously. And then I got this side buttoned up. This was like a piece of cake. Um, some of the other things I have left to do is I've got to do, um, I've got my air system for the airbags and for air accessories to deal with. Um, but that I'm going to save for another day. <clears throat> uh, for right now, we have all new steering. We have new ball joints. We've got new shocks. Um, I do have to do the sway bar links on this. I'm going to do that later. I can do that at home. Um, and uh, there's just a few other oddball things. I got to take this in and have the tailpipes made. We're just doing from the engine to the muffler and then I'll have a shop do uh, tailpipes for that. That'll be a little bit easier on us. Man to me. <laughs> yeah, anyways, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that's kind of where we're at. I'll, uh, I'll bring you back when we uh, are ready to fire this up. I do, got, I do have to do a little bit of carburetor messing around because it's not happy again and then of course after I get it dialed in and it'll be unhappy because it wants to go back yeah I'm gonna have to end up buying oh, right she's going back to fuel injection no I'm just kidding well guys we ran into quite a little bit of a snafu here got the muffler up in there his welder kind of gave out the tip got stuck don't pay attention to that that's a temporary permanent thing we're trying to hang the muffler Trying to hang it so at least I can get this thing home and then I can I can finish this part. Yeah, it's not, not super perfect, but you know what? It'll be just fine for a gambler. Oh yeah, I got nuts for that now. Driveline angle looks pretty good. Yep. So we just measured the camber, what the suspension drooped. Uh, this has four degrees out, and that has five out, so. Um, I, I have to come back and put my new bushing in there before I do the alignment. I left it at home on act, I uh, just wasn't thinking about it, so. Yep. Our plan of attack, because just because we're not, we don't have access to parts stores and stuff right now. What we're gonna do is this is kind of a temporary, just bugger weld in. We're actually gonna remove this pipe, and we'll get a, a new white pipe, and we'll kind of redo that. The problem is, is those exhaust bolts up there are probably gonna snap. More than likely, they're gonna snap. We'll have to drill it out and whatnot. So. That's something we're gonna have to do later. For right now, we're just trying to make something work. Get me home, and then uh, we'll come back and convene later, but for right now, I think we'll, uh, we'll be ready to go here in a little bit. And I'll get this thing fired up and retune my carburetor. I don't make a bunch of noise back here. Yeah. At least, it probably won't be as loud. It'll be, you know, it'll be okay, hopefully. I'll pay pull over. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get pulled over on the way, on the way to. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. All right, cheers. We'll be back. 